Hey everybody, Jason here. Welcome to my Knot channel. In this video, we're gonna have a look at the West Country Whipping. The West Country Whipping, as the name implies, is a whipping knot that will help protect the end of a rope from fraying. Of course, there are other ways to tie whipping knots. If you'd like to see others, then I recommend my video on five different whipping knots. Link in the description and also at the end of this video. To tie the West Country whipping knot, we first want to find the center of our whipping cord. Once we have the center, tie a constrictor knot around the main rope as close to the end as possible while maintaining the proper structure of the three strand rope. The constrictor knot will help hold things in place as we continue with the West Country whipping and is also the first knot in the whipping process. Now that we have the entire end tied together, turn the main rope over 180 degrees so that the constrictor knot is now on the bottom of the rope facing away from you. From here, tie a simple half knot, left over right and through the loop, then cinch it up tight. Again, rotate the main rope 180 degrees, this time so the original constrictor knot is facing you again. And now tie another half knot, left over right, and then through the loop. Again, cinch it up tight. Continue this process down the section of your rope until you have a series of knots tied around the main rope, and the thickness is at least the same width of your main rope. When you reach your desired length, simply finish the whipping with a reef knot tied at the end. And that's the West Country Whipping Knot. Now, as promised, here's a link to my video, five different whipping knots. I hope you check it out. And thanks for watching.